In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Studio Mode in OBS Studio. Let's get started. To enable Studio Mode, click the Studio Mode button on the bottom right. On the left, you have the Preview window. This will allow you to preview the different scenes you have available. Only you can see this window. Your audience, won't. The Program window, is the live stream that your audience sees. Clicking the Transition button, moves the scene that's in Preview, to Program. You can set the default transition, down here, along with the duration. If you'd prefer to transition at your own pace, you can use the slider. To show two scenes simultaneously, move the slider to the middle, then drag it over to the right, when you're ready to switch the scene completely. By default you have cut, fade and fade to black, set as quick transitions. These can be modified, or, you can add more, by clicking the plus button, and selecting another transition. I'll pick this stinger. All of these transitions can be set as hotkeys, by going into settings, then hotkeys. In filter, type transition. I'll set these to be control 0, control 9, control 8, control 7, and control 6. Click apply and OK. Thanks for watching the video until this point. I hope you're finding some value in it so far. If you are, give it a like. Now, let's talk about why you would use Studio Mode. First, you can preview the next scene and make any adjustments, before moving the scene to the program window. You can also make adjustments, on the fly. When you click the three dots, you'll see three options. Duplicate Scene, Duplicate Sources, and swap preview program scenes, after transitioning. Duplicate scenes, will allow you to adjust the transform, and visibility of the scene, without showing it in the program window. So for example, if I was to resize, or hide the text, it doesn't show on the program window just yet. Unless I click transition, and move it to the program window. However, if I edit the text, the program window shows me editing the text. To change that, click the three dots, and select Duplicate Sources. This will allow you to update the properties for the source, without it outputting to the program window. If you were to uncheck Swap Program and Preview, then the scene in the preview window won't change. This is useful if you were editing the same scene often. If you wanted to switch back and forth between two scenes, then make sure to check this option. The last thing left to look at, is in the settings. Go to the general tab, and scroll down to studio mode. Show preview program labels, simply shows you the name of the scene. For a quick way to transition to another scene, you can enable transition to scene, when double clicked. Now, double clicking a scene will bypass the preview window, and go straight to the program window. Clicking a scene once, will still show it on preview, before transitioning to program. Enabling the portrait vertical layout, moves the program window to the top, preview to the bottom, and transitions to the middle. And one final tip, before I wrap up this video. Multiview, can be a great tool to use alongside Studio Mode. To open a Multiview window, go to View, and select Multiview. If you have a second monitor, select Full Screen, and select the second monitor. For single monitors, select Windowed. This will open a second window that shows a video preview of all of your scenes simultaneously. A single click will send it to the preview window. Make any adjustments, and transition to program. You can double click, to transition straight to the program window, if you had enabled it in the settings. And that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. I hope you found some value in this video. If you did, feel free to hit that like button. And subscribe for more content like this. Hope to see you in the next one.